Hey guys, happy Monday. So before I get into the voiceover and do the work, I just wanted to tell y'all real quick, I did a Instagram post. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw my post about feeling overwhelmed sometimes to get into your journal. So really taking trash, quote unquote trash. Um, this is just a cardboard box. I have no idea. Oh, it was some resistance band because y'all know I'm trying to get fit and fine. So, I'm um, taking trash and just using this as your substrate whenever your journal isn't really speaking to you, but you know that you need to create. Your soul needs to be fed. So, what I'm going to be using as my substrates today is this... Um, cardboard box and the other thing I want to say is you don't have to finish something when you get in here so today if I don't fin if quote unquote finish this that's okay like I'm going to give myself grace I don't have to finish something every time that I come in here and a lot of times I put pressure on myself to do that because this is for YouTube um but you know what at the end of the day this is for me and y'all get to enjoy the ride as well, right? So, um, if we come up with a final solution today, if not, then that's okay. This is a piece of cardboard, baby. It is no stress. Um, we just are going to have a little fun. So, grab, um, you know, something that... If you're like me and sometimes paper ends up on your floor, I don't really know how that happens in my studio, but um, sometimes it does. And if you just want to like use that, use that um, because you, this is garbage. That's why I love junk journaling with stuff um, that is not special or, um, you know, whatever. And so we're just going to have a good time with this. And whenever I'm done with it or whenever I'm... My soul has been fed for the day. We just going to stop. And if it looks some type of way, then it looks some type of way. And if it don't, well, it's all right. It'll be here tomorrow. And if I don't like it, I can throw away if I want to. By the way, I've never thrown a piece away. Um, so I just say that. But you can throw it away if you want to. All right. I love y'all. Let's get started. Let's get the party started. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so now that we've got all of that out of the way, my, my total tip rants here, I'm going to go in with this chalky uh, white gesso. Um, I love how the craft cardboard looks with white, white gesso. So um, that is where my energy kind of went with it. And then I also love this. This is a cream coat by Cream Coat. Um, I think that's like either Michael's brand or Hobby Lobby brand or something like the cheapest of the cheap. Uh, this turquoise is such a good color. I love it. And with that being said, I'm really just paying very close attention to how the paint feels as it goes over the cardboard. Like using all of my senses, right? So just enjoying the smush of that paint with the paintbrush and noticing how I'm feeling in certain movements. Like I really loved how this felt and also like how it looked when I lightly, ever so lightly, just drug it across the cardboard into the paint. And then I'm going to use my paintbrush in a different way just to kind of make some marks. So use whatever tool you have. Um, to kind of explore and figure out if you like one mark over the other. And then I'm just kind of using that, um, whatever that, I think that was actually a template for a journal or something. Uh, like the little punch part, the holes, Tiffany, that's what it's called, the binding holes. And so as I am drying in all TIFF fashion, I'm steadily looking around my desk just to see if something is grabbing my attention, speaking to me in a way that I want to really respond to. And I'm feeling like I want to grab those pencils and just kind of scribble like a kid with my non-dominant hand here. And just letting each movement, not in my head, okay, so not thinking about what's coming next, 
but just enjoying this moment of just scribbles and feeling how it feels and just being aware do I like the scribbles over the raw cardboard which by the way I do and do I um, like how it um, looks over the light of course um, so just like just being very aware and then I felt the urge to kind of switch gears and get a different type of mark making tool and so I grabbed that um, spatula catalyst tool and then I immediately went in with the Neo Color um, 2 crayon in black. So just going with that energy as it feels the need to move and groove and just responding to it as um, as I'm, I move around. So I'm not thinking about it. I'm just going with the flow. And then I decided to cut that piece of the cardboard off and just kind of scribble. And if you guys uh, follow me on Instagram, you will know that that cardboard actually made a debut yesterday. And I will leave the still shots of the outcome for that. And I'm also going to give you a little tiff tip here. Okay, so the tiff tip is coming up here shortly, but it's a way to kind of do a um, do a little practice um, of collage without committing fully. So not that it's a big deal because remember this is just trash that we save from the recycle to be able to use and I love the feeling of moving and taking trash and just totally transforming it. So this little guy actually gets ripped off after the um, airing of this. Um, when I went back in the studio, I just decided to take it another route and that's okay. I can do that, right? So with that being said, that little polka dot washi tape, paper tape stuff, it's easy to take it back off. So if you just like quote unquote temporary, I'm doing air quotes. Y'all can't see me, but I'm air quoting right now. If you decided to just do something and try it and then see if you like it or not then you can totally move on to another thing you saw I just throw it to the side because it's just cardboard right so I did come back to that like I say and I will I did take that um polka dot piece with the um the Payne's gray and the pink little scrap that I had I also had some canvas hanging out close by so I decided to grab that and just tear it apart and love that string that just is hanging off oh love it so good and then I was just looking around in my giblet bag and I saw this little piece and it just wasn't speaking to me I really like that piece but it just was I don't know just just wasn't the right piece for it and so I'm going down here and I'm kind of gluing some of these uh, scrap papers. If y'all remember my jelly printing video that I did, um, I've done so many jelly printing videos. I just say it like, oh yeah, you know that jelly printing video that I did a while back where I made the collage papers out of tissue paper. I think that pool was one of the pools that I did as well. Um, I have no idea why that was particularly important to the conversation but anyway um so now I'm just just collaging a few random giblets down and taking some things and cutting it and moving it and grooving it until my heart and soul has said enough is enough and I totally see a face in this now that I'm looking at it I actually saw it in the beginning too but I was like in that mood like mm, I'm not gonna get tied up into a face today because I want this to be loose. I want it to be groovy. I want it to really just be very expressive. And so I wasn't uh, down for the minutia of actually creating the face today, but I totally kind of see the outline of the chin and the, and I think right here, I'm going to act like if I have done it, that that would be where the face would be, but I'm not going to do it. So there we go. And I actually even see one even better now that it's tilted to the side. That's crazy town.
Um, so my message today for you guys is just getting there. If, if life is overwhelming you, if your journal seems like it's too much, grab that scrap of paper off the floor, grab that cardboard box. Cause baby, I know you've been getting them Amazon boxes too. So don't be crazy. Um, so use something that you have, use it, enjoy it, play, um, no stress. I want to say thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here with me today. You just guys just don't even know. So if you um, are excited for the holidays, I would love to hear about your traditions down below. Go ahead and tell me about those. And if you're not subscribed, I would love it so much if you would subscribe, like my channel, do all the things. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!